So much has been taken from you, from this town, from God-fearing people. To understand so Jebediah Crone, you can't just hear about the man. You have to hear the man himself. The abattoir is from the French word, which means slaughterhouse or to strike down. And in the case of this film, The Abattoir is a series of tragedies that the lead character, Jebediah Crone, has placed together. I know a few things about fire, Miss Talbot. The Abattoir is a house that is constructed of rooms of the dead. And as the film goes on, we learn that Jebediah Crone is building this house for a very sinister purpose. The Abattoir was built physically from our amazing production designer, Jen Spence who obviously is from the Insidious films and Paranormal Activity. You know, her and I sit together and we, we try to figure out some interesting scenarios spanning numerous decades, uh, even centuries, and just took momentary crimes of those decades and centuries. These are all Saul's murders. Cases of people taking out their loved ones and then themselves. Essentially a movie about this man that's building a haunted house. I think that Abattoir is very much an Alice in Wonderland story as well. It's a story of a girl going through, a, uh, in this case, not the rabbit hole, but going into New English, which transports her into this fantastical environment. When I read it, I thought it was different from things I had done before. We have struggled and been stolen from, denied ourselves and been left empty. What kind of intrigued me about the premise was I wanted to make a haunted house movie, but I wanted my own unique spin on it. He wanted it to be something different and not the standard gruesome horror films that you've seen him do in the past, but something that's artistic and never been done before. It's modern, but it has something that harks back to you know, the noir movies that we love, that we all know. All right, I'll call. I'd be writing now if I didn't have a talkative cop giving me grief. What I'm most looking forward to is the discussions that's going to happen after it's over. What will people compare it to? Will they get all the innuendos and subtleties? It's not an easy movie to digest. It's going to take conversation. And that conversation is, I think, why I go to the movies in the first place. His blood is on your hands. The only family you have is now at home.